Hi Sagittarius. I will now be laying out three more cards to have a look and see at the potential of this connection, Sag. What's going on here? Um, what is it that you have to learn? Why is this person in your life? Um, remember though, it is a general reading. If you'd like a private one, my email is listed on my YouTube channel. Okay. Otherwise, let's have a look and see at this relationship. Death card, past lessons, past people might be coming in around you in this relationship together. Um, this could definitely be someone from your past coming back in, or it's a relationship that's going to resemble your past. It's going to bring past things um, into the forefront, okay? Skeletons in the closet, secrets. It is Scorpio energy, so it brings the, um, brings the mysterious into light, okay? Things that you, it's, it's self-discovery. It's things that you'll come to learn about yourself, but it could be more spiritual um, and emotional things because Scorpio is a water sign. So that could definitely be the case here. Um, could bring new emotions to the forefront as well with the death card. Now, as I said, it could be an ex-lover or someone you are quite familiar with who's coming back into the picture here and you are destined to have a long-term relationship here. I love what the Three of Wands represents because I really feel like if this is the case, this time around your bond will be even stronger. Your relationship, trust issues, your, your dependency on each other, reliability will be much more stronger than it was before. So if this is a second or even a third attempt at this relationship with this person, I do think it's destined to be for the long haul, for the long term this time round. The death card is also transitions, okay? It could be like um, major transitions that take place in this relationship, major changes, rebirth, the notion of cycles is coming in around you in this relationship. The death card is also bringing the past, okay, this person might help you heal or strengthen your past. Maybe it's trauma, maybe you haven't felt this way about anyone before, but this person is somehow has links or ties, this relationship has links or ties to your past. could also be a past life connection, so you will feel familiarity with this person. Then you might be dreaming of them before they come into your life. You might have a lot of deja vu moments when the two of you do connect. It's metaphysical things like this that will be around your relationship. The death with death card also comes new life. There is children here, so for some of you, you are destined to have children, or merge families, or play a parental figure to their children, or create a family home of some kind. You might adopt a dog or a pet together, but there is a notion of creating family, okay? Because with death comes life, new life forms, new additions to the family. Some of you will um, welcome this person into your family or they will welcome you into theirs. It's a very warm welcome, welcome, and I think you'll have very, very strong ties if that's the case. You also have the Three of Wands, which is a card of longevity. It is a card of starting something new that's going to venture out into the long term because there's a long road to travel here. So I do feel for a lot of you, there's a very long and testing road that this relationship is going to be on. Again, it's going to teach you a lot, but it's going to help you heal from your past in some way something to do with your past or strengthening your identity or you think you're defined by your past i mean your past is your past it's, it's your own regardless of whether you've done things actively or things have happened to you in your life the past is yours okay it's who you are as a person it's it's it doesn't define you but it's shaped you okay everything that, that has happened up to this point so a lot of life lessons tied into this relationship, I think. But look, the three of ones could also indicate other people coming into the relationship from the past. I do sense that there might be some issues for some of you with an ex-lover, whether this is your ex or their ex, there might be someone coming into the picture. Now, they might have children with this person. They might share assets still. They might come into your uh, life unexpectedly. They might ruffle a few feathers. I don't think it's going to be an issue where they're going to like cheat on you with their ex or anything. I think it's more the fact that there is a third person here that's in the picture. How? It's hard to say because every relationship is going to be different. But somehow the past and the notion of three being a crowd will come in and possibly affect your relationship. But I think it's a test phase. I do because I think it's a, it's either... This person can put their ex in their past once and for all, or you being in a relationship with this person will mean that a past or lover or an ex-lover will come in and you'll finally gain clarity about how you feel about this ex and you're just going to be surprised because it's not going to be anywhere near how you feel about this new person. So it's going to bring clarity and a freshness, okay? The death card is connected to renewal. So for some of you, there could be a third party situation that comes up in this um relationship don't anticipate it however because for some of you it could even be a past priority a past employer a past friend 
who might um, take up a lot of time in your relationship. For example, they may demand a lot of your attention, a lot of your time, and maybe suddenly you're not left with much time to spend with your new lover. So that could also be the case. But the Three of Wands could also be relocation, travel, wanderlust, or even a long distance relationship. If that's the case, I feel like you are destined to succeed with this person and you are destined to have a long haul relationship, a long term relationship with them. Um, you might be separated by uh, vast distances, whether due to work, whether due to relocation. You might be commuting a fair bit to connect with this person, to see them. They might live hours away from you. You might be talking on Skype. This person might get a job. You might get a job that is further afield. So things like that could be coming up as well. Now, the strength card is also here. You've got the beautiful infinity symbol here. So this is symbolic of eternity. Some of you will definitely be together in your twilight years because you can see a priest here of elderly age. So for some of you, your next major relationship could just be the one where you settle down with. Um, it could be tradition. Okay, he represents ceremony and traditional things. So there could definitely be marriage as a possibility in this relationship. Um... And the infinity symbol here is eternity. It is absolutely beautiful. Spiritually, the two of you are connected for eternity. So some of you are meeting a soulmate. Remember that metaphysical connection I mentioned here. But the strength card could also be um, controlling or taming something. The lion here goes from domesticated, uh, from wild to domesticated here, and she's showing a lot of affection. So A, I think the way you show affection, intimacy, sex, passion, emotion, the way you show this towards each other will definitely be one of your strong points, Sag. The strength card is also Leo energy, so it's initiation. It's leadership. This is a, um, I, I feel like there might be a lot of firsts tied into this relationship. This is a relationship that's going to go places, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to really lead you in a different direction or it's definitely going to be at the forefront of your life. So say up to this point, you've had career or singledom or passion or travels creative pursuits that have been um, front and center in your life, this is about to change, Serge, and suddenly this person is going to absolutely influence and dictate your life, but you're going to enjoy it, Sagittarius. You're going to be very happy with the way things progress between the two of you, for you will have a very, very strong connection. And as I said, strong points in um, your how physically strong you are, um, your mental strength, this will come in and help this relationship grow in absolutely wonderful ways uh, with that strength card here. Now, in terms of numbers, you have three, you have eight, you also have 13, which make four. So technically you have three, four, and eight. Now, these numbers could be significant in the sense where you might be together for three, four, eight years, three, four, eight months, 34 years, 38 years, um, until your 83rd year, you know, these numbers could be significant. Maybe around the way in which you're meeting, maybe in um, this person's birth dates, might be, um, it might be significant for you for one reason or another. But for some of you, I feel like you're going to start a new life with this person, whether it means traveling abroad, whether it means changing your career. I feel like it's a fresh slate or a clean slate. And there's a lot of newness coming in around this person, which you will be able to enjoy together. So I honestly feel like it's a beautiful, healthy relationship. It's going to test you in some ways, but all these tests, all these trials and tribulations will only make the two of you stronger. So I will leave it at that, Sag. I hope this reading has been helpful.